drive the cost of housing higher by about 60 percent, open the American southern border and make middle class life unaffordable for a large number of Americans. If Kamala Harris has such great plans for how to address middle class problems, then she ought to do them now, not when asking for a promotion, but in the job the American people gave her three and a half years ago. And the fact that she isn't tells you a lot about how much you can trust her actual plans. Now, Donald Trump's economic plan is not just a plan, but it's also a record. A lot of those same economists attack Donald Trump's plans, and they have PhDs, but they don't have common sense, and they don't have wisdom, because Donald Trump's economic policies delivered the highest take-home pay in a generation in this country, 1.5 percent inflation, and, and to boot, peace and security all over the world. So when people say that Donald Trump's economic plan doesn't make sense, I say look at the record. He delivered rising take-home pay for American workers. Now, Tim admirably admits that they want to undo the Trump tax cuts. But if you look at what was so different about Donald Trump's tax cuts, even from previous Republican tax cut plans, is that a lot of those resources went to giving more take-home pay to middle-class and working-class Americans. 